There you can also get the latest confirmed facts, not fear, about the coronavirus outbreak here in Florida. Let's bring in Ryan Bass now with today's report from the Department of Health. Allison, we heard from doctors and epidemiologists warning us that our number of deaths would increase given our rising cases a few weeks ago. This week alone, Florida has reported 1,196 new deaths. That's more than the entire month of June in just one week. Today's report showed a record 257 Floridian deaths, the most reported since the start of this pandemic. And just look at July there on the right side of the chart. Our moving average was at 39 to start the month. Today it is at 146. Here's a look at who's currently getting care in the hospital for COVID-19. And this is some good news. The red line, which is the whole state, it's down 10% since last week. So hopefully people are starting to recover thanks to treatments like convalescent plasma or remdesivir. Looking at new cases, our average is creeping down back towards 10,000 a day. And we've been regularly seeing around 90,000 tests a day come back to us. So a good pool of data here to look at. The White House said new cases should drop for two weeks in order for us to safely reopen. Now where we're seeing the biggest sign of slowing the spread is with the rate of people that are testing positive. This chart right here. Today's report shows 10.5% the lowest in two weeks. Masks, social distancing, limiting crowds, three things Governor Ron DeSantis has stressed and did so today. Seems we're doing a better job of it. And the numbers, Allison, they're showing it. 